In this video, I'm going to go over eight apartment friendly birds. Hey guys, this is Melissa from Melissa's Pet Life and I'm going to help you choose a pet bird that would be perfect for an apartment setting. If you're new here, please hit the subscribe button, the notification button, and the like button. So let's get right into this video. So the first birds that we're going to talk about are canaries and finches. So canaries and finches make great pets. Canaries are great songbirds. Finches come in amazing colors. They're not really the most human friendly birds, so they're better kept in pairs. And the cost range for these guys can vary depending on what type you get. Some of them are really expensive depending on the coloration and some of them can be very inexpensive as well. So the next bird on the list is the budgerigar. So these guys are cute, social, outgoing, they love food, they're very playful, they can become very attached to their owners, they live about 10 to 15 years, so it is a little bit longer of a commitment. They do have a very, very large vocabulary. In fact, um, the uh, Budgerigar is in the Guinness Book of World Records for one of the largest vocabularies, um, speaking, I think, over a thousand different types of words. So they can talk. Males are more prone to talking than females, but both have the ability to talk. So if you want a little bird that can talk, the Budgerigar is a great fit for you. Price point for these little dudes is fairly cheap, 10 to $35, and they can live up to 10 years. The next bird on this list is the lovebird. So the lovebird is one of the smaller species of parrots. It's very inquisitive and always on the go. Um, they're called lovebirds because they're intense bond with their mate, but they can be kept um, as a single bird, um, they become very bonded to their owners. Um, these little guys do not talk. Um, but again, they have, they do form an intense bond with their owners. Sometimes they're known to be more aggressive than some of the other birds like the budgerigar or the cockatiel. The price point for these little dudes is about $80 to $200. So the next bird on the list, which is close to my heart, and maybe it's because I have one, is the cockatiel. So cockatiels are pretty cool. They are the smallest of the cockatoo family. They can live up to 25 years. They're a little bit bigger. So they run about 14 inches long and they weigh about 90 grams up to 110 grams, somewhere around there. So if you're looking for a bird that's a little bit on the bigger side, a cockatiel is perfect for you. They don't necessarily talk, um, but they are great whistlers and they can whistle to the Adams Family theme song and a whole bunch of other songs you can teach them to whistle to. The males tend to be more whistlers than the females. They're fairly cheaply priced, so they can run around $150 to $250. These little guys are super cute, um, if you're looking, especially if you're looking for a bird that's a little bit bigger. The next bird on the list is the Paralette. So parallettes are small in stature, but they make up for that in big personalities. They are the smallest of all the parrots. They can talk, so if you're looking for another small little bird that can talk, um, this is a great one for you. The next bird on my list is the green cheek conure, and I currently have a green cheek conure, and I was a little bit hesitant to put this bird on the list. They do, they can live up to 20 years. They are supposed to be the quietest species of conure. However, they can be quite loud. This isn't necessarily saying that your green cheek conure will be like that, just that they have the possibility to be loud and in an apartment that can cause a lot of difficulties, but they are clowns. They require a lot of attention. They are a big parrot compressed into a little parrot's body. They can live, like I said, 20 plus years and they're just a great, just a great bird to have. Um, the other bird on my list that I was hesitant to put on was the African Grey, just because of their size and their ability to be destructive. They are a quiet bird, but again, they do have the potential to be loud. 
These guys can also live up to 60 years and require a lot of space and a lot of attention. So just be wary in these two species um, if you're thinking about getting these birds, especially in an apartment setting. I'm not sure if I recommend these two for an apartment, um, but definitely do your research on what bird would be good for your apartment setting. All right, guys, so if you can think of any birds that I missed in this video, please comment down below. Give this video a big thumbs up. Click the notification button and the subscribe button, and I will see you in the next video. All right, guys, bye.